In this video, I'll show you how to install mods on your Mineheart server. I'm gonna go and join the server right now and prove to you I've got mods installed. As you can see, here we are. When I go and press on E on my inventory, as you can see, I've got the JEI mod installed and it's showing me all of the recipes. I go and click on one and it's gonna go and show me how to go and craft it. If you're new to the channel, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. Once you've done that, please go down below and consider leaving a like as well. And now let's go and get straight into this. Here we are on my desktop and the first thing you need to do is go and open up a web browser so here we are I'm gonna hop into mine here you can use any one you want to come to Google or any search engine now before I go and show you how to install the mod to Minehut I want to quickly go and show you how you can go and install the mod to your own version of Minecraft on your computer because in order to go and play with mods on servers you must have the mod installed on your own computer However, if you already know how to install mods on your computer, then you can go and skip straight to the Minehot piece of this guide, which will be a bit later on, I'll try and put a timestamp. But if you haven't got the mod already installed on your computer and you don't know how, then make sure you watch this whole guide. So the first thing you want to do is come to Google and you need to go and search for something called Forge. Now Forge is a great tool and it's an add-on which allows us to go and add mods to Minecraft. So basically you have to have Forge to go and do this guide. So go and make sure you come to forge.minecraftforge.net, click here, and then here we are. Then all you want to do is come to the left hand side where we've got Minecraft version. You need to go and select the version of Forge for Minecraft which you want to go and download. So in my case I'm going to go and get 1.17.1. Um, it doesn't really matter as long as you go and get all of the same versions throughout this guide. For example we need to go and set Minehut for the same version and we need to go and get mods for the same version. For example if I go and say get Forge for 1.17 we need to set the server to 1.17 and get mods for Minecraft 1.17. So they've all got to be the exact same version of Minecraft. Don't worry, I'll explain it throughout the whole guide. So in this example, I'm gonna go and get um, the 1.17 version for Minecraft. So I'm gonna click here and then go and click 1.17.1. Then once you're here, all you need to do is go and click on the installer. I recommend just going on the latest or recommended. Now you want to be really careful. We're gonna be on add wall. As you can see, it's saying add this extension. Completely ignore this. Just wait in the top right where we've got this countdown and then go and click skip. Then as you can see, this download actually went and started. I'm just gonna go and click back. So every browser is gonna be slightly different to where downloads appear, but all you need to do is go and open up your downloads folder in your file explorer, and you're gonna go and find the file. And depending on which browser you use, you may need to go and click on keep, but like I said, every browser is gonna be slightly different, and now we need to go and find it in our downloads folder. So I just open up my downloads folder, and here is the Forge installer, so I'm just gonna go and drag it onto my desktop, just like so. Now we need to go and install Forge, and as you can see, I've got this coffee logo on Forge. So if you go and double click on it, it should go and open up to a Forge installer. As you can see, we go and get this mod system installer. However, if it doesn't, do not worry. This is simply because you don't have Java. So all you need to do is head back to your browser and you need to go and search for java.com or just go and Google Java. So go to java.com, go and hit enter. And it's gonna go and take us here. So go and click on download Java and it's gonna download your computer and then you need to go and install it. And then once it's installed, you may need to go and restart your computer you need to go and click on the file here, the installer, right click on it, and then go and click open with, and then you want to go and click more apps, and make sure you go and select Java TM platform SE binary. That's gonna fix a lot of issues, I know when people try and install Forge, it doesn't always install. But anyways, go and double click on it, just like so, and it's gonna go and open it up, and you just want to go and click install client, and go and click okay, and then as you can see, it's now installing. Once it's finished, it's gonna go and say successfully installed, and you can go and press okay. Now all you need to do is come back into your browser and now we need to go and find a mod which you want to go and install. The site I personally use to go and get mods for Minecraft is called CurseForge. So go and search for CurseForge just like so and you want to come to curseforge.com and here we are. Then all you just need to do is go and look for featured games and go and click on Minecraft. And as you can see, this is over 100,000 mods, which is crazy. And here we are. So as you can see at the moment, we're in mod packs. I'm just gonna go and click on mods. So I just want a single one. And then you want to go and scroll down until you can go and find a mod. So when you go and find a mod, we then need to go and make sure we go and get the same version of which we downloaded Minecraft Forge 4. In this case, I need 1.17.1, but you need to get whichever version which you downloaded. Personally, I'm gonna go for just enough items. It allows you to go and view the recipe. So go and click on it just like so. Then all you need to do is go and click on files and wait for it to load. And then once it's loaded, you then need to go and scroll down until we can go and find the version we want. So personally, I need 1.17.1. So I'm gonna go and scroll back until I can go and find it. So it took a while, but I just found it. As you can see, it was on page six. So all you need to do is go and click on that download file button just here. And it's as you can see, it says your download will begin in a few seconds. And it's then gonna go and start. 
Once again, it's gonna be in a different place depending on which browser you use, but I do need to go and click on keep just like so, and there it is. So now all you want to do is minimize once again, and all you want to do is open your download folder and go and find the file. So here is the file, I just dragged it onto my desktop. Now the next thing you need to go and do is, is go and press on the Windows key on your keyboard and go and press the R button as well, both at the same time, and we're gonna go and get this thing called run. Now run allows us to go and type the name of a program folder or document, and it's gonna take us straight there. So what you want to do is type in percentage, app data percentage, literally just that, all one word and go and press OK. And it's gonna go and take us to this folder here. And all you need to do is go and press on dot Minecraft right at the top, and then you're gonna have a folder called mods. Now if you don't have this folder, do not worry, you need to just go and create one. So right click and go and click new and folder and just type in mods. And then you want to go and double click in it. And once you're inside of it, then all you need to do is move the mod into it. So as you can see, I've got this 1.17.1 mod here. I'm gonna go and drag it in and there we go. And that's literally it guys, we've now installed the mod. So go and close off of this folder and now we need to go and open up the browser once again and now you need to come to Minehut. So come to Minehut and as you can see we can go and view my servers. So once you go and see the server which you want to go and install the mod on, in this case for me it's guide round 2, I've already done it for this first guide round, the first thing you need to do is go and click on the version. So as you can see at the moment I'm using paper 1.17.1. I'm going to click on this just like so and then you need to go and click on server type and change it to spigot. Then once you change it to spigot then go and click on server version and you need to go and select the same version for the server as you went and downloaded the mod for. So because I went and downloaded the mod for 1.17.1 I need to go and have the server set on 1.17.1. And also guys all the steps I just showed you you need to go and tell your friends to do as well so they can join the server as they must have the same mod version as the server is which is 1.17.1 so you can just go and tell your friends to watch this video. And as you can see it's now been set to spigot 1.17.1. So I'm going to click on activate server just like so and it's going to go and start it as you can see it takes 30 seconds then all you need to do is go and click on continue just like so and then we're now taken to the server dashboard now what's really important is when you go and change the version of a server you need to go and reset the world so come to this top bar and go and click on world just like so and you then need to go and click on reset world and go and click yes then it's going to go and reset the world it's really important and if you want to go and use your world again just go and download it as you can see but now we need to go and install the mod, you then need to go and click on File Manager, just like so. And once you're in File Manager, you then need to scroll down, and I'm going to zoom in a bit for you guys. And what you need to go and do is, is go and click on Create Folder. So it's got a folder with a plus, go and click on it. And as you can see, we need to enter a name. So I'm going to go and name this Mods, just like so, and then go and click Create. And then as you can see in the left hand side, we've got this new Mods folder. So go and click on it, just like so then all you want to do is go and click on this upload file button, which is a file with a plus in it once again. Just before we go and upload the mod, we need to make sure we've got a copy ready of the mod. So once again, go and press on the Windows key and R, and we're gonna go and get this run thing. Go and click OK, and it's gonna take a moment to load. And then all you need to do is go and press on dot .minecraft and go to mods again. And here is the mod I want to upload. So I'm just gonna go and copy this onto my desktop, just like so. Go to desktop and go and paste it in, uh, just like this. Boom, there it is. Come back to Minehut and go and press on the paperclip and it's going to go and launch our folder and I want to go and upload this mod here. So I'm going to hit open and go click upload and it now should be uploading. As you can see there it is. So what you want to do is just go and restart the server as we've just gone and uploaded a mod and go and click yes. So now all you want to do is go and open up Minecraft and then we can go and join it. So I'm just going to go and copy the URL just like so. And what's really important is when you're on the Minecraft launcher, make sure you go and select Forge and go and click play. Minecraft is now loaded and you'll know you've installed Forge successfully and the mod because you're going to have this mods button on your main menu. Go and click on mods and as you can see there is just enough items. Now let's go to multiplayer. I'm going to click add server. I'm going to go and paste in our new address by doing control V. There it is. Go and press done. As you can see it's online. I'm going to go and click join server and we're now joining. So I've just loaded into Minecraft now and I'm going to prove to you it's installed. I go and press E. As you can see, we can go and see I've got the JEI mod. I can go and see all the recipes. I can go and click on one. It's going to exactly tell me how to go and craft it. If you found this video useful, please go down below and consider subscribing to the channel. Leave a like for more. Peace.